What's up you guys, Key Demel here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to convert your pilot license to a Canadian pilot license in only five steps. This video only applies assuming you're coming from one of the ICAO countries. Because Canada has an agreement with a lot of these countries because they trust the training that's in these countries and it's on par to what you can experience in Canada, we have the agreement with those countries so that the conversion process is going to be a lot easier for you. So the first step in your conversion process is getting a Transport Canada Category 1 medical. You actually do not have to come to Canada to get one of these medicals. You can find a Transport Canada approved aviation medical examiner around the world. I will list the link below for you in the description. Once you click on the link, you'll be directed to a drop down menu. You must scroll and find the country of your choice. And once you click on the country, you'll be directed to a list of medical examiners located within that country. The typical processing time for a category one medical unfortunately takes a long time. I've heard where it takes up to eight months to process your category one medical. I'd not recommend flying all the way to Canada to do your medical and then flying back because the process might take so long and it's a lot of money just to fly to Canada. Instead, it's much easier to travel within Europe, for example, and you can probably travel to a nearby country in Europe and get your medical exam done over there before coming into Canada. The second step in your conversion process is to prove your experience to Transport Canada. They want to see that you meet the minimum experience requirements. You have to show a breakdown of your logbook experience hours for Transport Canada to review. For example, for a commercial pilot license, you need to show a minimum of 200 hours of total flight time in airplanes, 100 hours of that shall be pilot and command time, 65 hours should show that you've done commercial pilot specific training. Out of those 65 hours is further broken down into 35 hours dual flight instruction time and 30 hours of you flying solo. Your logbook must also show that you've done a cross country to a point of 300 nautical miles away. Now, this is just a quick overview. There's actually a few more other little details in it. I'll list a link in the description below for the rest of the requirements. Now with the third step, we're actually getting into the meats and potatoes of getting your conversion process started. And that is doing a written exam. For example, if you're converting your commercial pilot license, you need to do the Canadian version of the commercial pilot exam, which is known as the CPAER exam. If you're doing the instrument rating conversion, you have to do the Canadian NRAT exam. And if you're doing the ATPL conversion, you have to do three exams. You have to do the NRAT exam plus the SARON and SAMRAT exam. If you're looking for the instrument rating NRAT exam, I personally have my own version of the NRAT course. It's a very successful course and as of making this video, I've helped over 50 pilots pass the exam. I recommend you check out the link in the description below. And part of my exam preps includes an instructor call with me. So, you know, if you have any questions during the NRAT instrument rating exam conversion, you can actually book a Zoom call with me and I can help you with some of the questions. So I give that additional experience within my course. Okay, so the fourth part in your conversion process once you've completed the written exam is actually now doing the practical exam the written exam is just theory the practical exam is showing that you have the practical flying skills necessary to have that license so for example for the commercial pilot license you must do the commercial pilot flight test in Canada in an airplane uh, for the instrument rating conversion you must do the instrument rating flight test and if you're converting your ATPL license you must do the instrument rating flight test and show that you have the necessary flying skills in an airplane for the rest of the ATPL training. And finally, the fifth step is once you've completed all those requirements is you gather all the paperwork from your written exam, your flight test, and now submit it in a form to Transport Canada. And just like any organization, you know, when you submit a form, there's an application fee. In order to pay the fee, you must visit the Transport Canada online payment system. Click on the English button. Now it's asking you, what would you like to pay for? Click on the menu and then scroll down to license or permit. So it's now asking you, what would you like to pay for? So you click on the drop down menu and click on a license or permit. Scrolling down, you can see that this is for flight crew for the issuance of a commercial pilot license or airplane. And this is for a foreign pilot. So click on get started and then it shows you the different fees. So for example, for the issuance of a commercial pilot license airplane or helicopter, you click on this checkbox and the fee currently is $80 Canadian. Once you're done, you click that the payment is made for yourself. Click next, enter your contact information. And once you enter your contact information, you can click next 
and then submit the form. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This video applies only if you're coming from one of the ICAO countries that has an agreement with Canada to then come to Canada and convert either your commercial pilot license, your instrument rating, or your airline pilot license. And just to summarize, the five steps are getting your aviation medical, showing proof of your experience with your logbook, completing your appropriate written exam for the license, doing the appropriate flight skill test, and then submitting all the documents to Transport Canada, including the fees. Take care and all the best in your conversion process.